is up tech community my name is Noah and this is 910 tech for my first ever video I'm going to be giving some tips on how to become somewhat of a technology expert or what I like to call techspert before you watch this video you need to ask yourself the following questions how much do I like technology how much do I already know how do I apply tech in my everyday life and finally is tech just something I use or does it mean something more to me? After you ask yourself those questions, you should know if you want to continue watching this video or not. So what does it mean to be techie, tech savvy, or a tech expert? It means you can apply all or some of the characteristics I'm about to list to yourself. It means you're able to give tech support to close friends and family. You know your way around iOS, Android, Windows, and OS X. You are able to distinguish a variety of products that you see people using. It means you're able to recommend a good product for a family member or a friend. You have a general knowledge of hardware and software. You know how to use video editing software, whether you're an amateur or a pro. You have some, little, or a lot of experience when it comes to code. There are so many other aspects of being good with technology, and no, you don't have to have all of these characteristics to be a so-called expert. So how do you go about becoming a expert? What does it require? How long does it take? To be honest, there is no official way to learn more about tech. This video is full of suggestions on how I became and become more of a expert every day. Three tools are essential to learning about technology. These are forums, news, and YouTube. A tech forum is a place where many tech-heavy people, such as yourself, discuss many topics that have to do with technology. I find that I get most of my questions answered on many of these forums, and I also learn new things by responses I get, or from reading other people's discussions. There are many people out there who are more than happy to help with any question you have. News. This is a very important part of learning about tech. If you want to be a tech expert, you must be up to date with the latest news on technology, whether it's the release of new products or software. Technology is always rapidly changing and it will never stop. Being up to date is of dire importance. Every day, you should be Googling or Binging or Yahooing, whichever you prefer, keywords like Tech News or Apple, Samsung, or Microsoft News. Also, read articles. Whenever you find something interesting, be sure you actually read it or at least obtain something from it. And last but not least, YouTube. It's my favorite. Videos, I think, are the best tool when it comes to learning just about anything. It gives you a visual and auditory experience, as if the YouTuber is a friend or a teacher that is directing the information he or she is giving directly at you. I'm not saying that books are the wrong way to go, but YouTube has the edge now, and it's appealing to the masses anyway. Always check your subscriber feed for new videos and watch them. Watching a new tech video every day keeps me up to date, and I find it very enjoyable. Also, don't only watch unboxings and reviews. Don't. Watch how-tos on things that you want to learn, such as video editing, coding, or on how to use a particular product. Another tip, watch random tech stuff. And whenever you hear a term you never heard of, search it on YouTube or Google it. Maybe from that video, you'll find something else that you didn't hear of, and the cycle continues and continues. After a while, your knowledge will go from a couple threads here and there to a web of information. And the best part is that a web is never filled up completely. So the more you learn, the stronger and denser your web of knowledge becomes. A lot of these skills that I've listed can get you a great job at a great company in the future. Many of these big tech companies like Apple, Samsung, and Google meet people like us. And the more knowledge you have about technology, the more valuable you become. Lastly, I'm going to put a list of 20 tech YouTubers that I watch in the description down below. All of these channels are fantastic, but I'm going to tell you my top two favorite channels out of all of them. 
Why two and not like five, six, or seven, or even ten? Well, to me, there are two categories when it comes to tech. There's mobile or average consumer technology and PC hardware. Marcus Brownlee or MKBHD has to be my favorite when it comes to mobile technology. He's been on YouTube since 2009 and he's an absolute pro. His content is concise, clean, and simple and I really trust his opinion. When it comes to PC and gaming hardware, Linus Tech Tips takes the cake. Linus Media Group does a great job of creating content, and their videos are always fun to watch. This channel has taught me half of what I know about computer hardware. An awesome channel that is associated with Linus Media Group is TechQuickie. I've learned so much from TechQuickie, from different types of processors, to graphics cards, to RAM. Videos on TechQuickie are very quick, as it says in the name, and they cram so much information in such a short amount of time so you don't waste your time listening to someone drawl on and on about some certain component. I would have to say, without the channel, I would have never built my PC. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like and subscribe button. That will really help me out a lot. My goal as of now is to make quality content whenever I can, no matter how many subscribers I may have. If you're skeptical about starting your own tech channel, as I was, don't be. I'm doing this as a hobby, and if you treat it that way, you could become successful. I don't know if that'll happen to me, but regardless, my attitude won't change. If you'd like to see a future Moto X Pure or Style review from a longtime iPhone user, I would really encourage you to like and comment on this video to let me know. Besides that, I'll see you in the next video.